10 years, you're going to have to fix something. Cabinets, floors, faucets, uh, take the popcorn off the ceiling, paint. You know, you got to do things. So today what we're going to be discussing in the Cardone Zone is when do you rehab and when don't you rehab, okay? For instance, uh, Johnny, can you show them that deal I'm doing right now? For those of you that are in our club, uh, grantcardone.com forward slash club, grantcardone.com forward slash club, um, every Wednesday we meet to discuss deals. It's about 140 of us. Uh, these are very serious real estate investors, some starting in their career and some that have just getting in the middle of their career. And some of some of us that are really, really experienced learning from one another every Wednesday on little tricks of the trade of how to get a deal, how to improve a deal, how to sell a deal. But hey, bottom line, how do you make money in real estate? OK, so look, I'm doing 646 units and I know these guys, they got my, all my screens are clean from last week, right? Let me see. Oh, oh, man, my guys let me down. They let me down. My screen's got to be clean. Same thing with a real estate deal. When you buy a real estate deal, you got to remember, let's say Ryan Secco had bought this property 10 years ago, okay? And he, let's say he bought the property for, um, let's say he paid $80,000 for the unit. And it could be one unit or it could be 10 units or it could be 100 units, Right. That's just going to change all the numbers in the deal. And let's say he was renting this deal for eight hundred dollars a month. And today, let's say that same unit, whether it was one unit, 10 units, let's say that unit today is worth one hundred and forty thousand dollars. Oops. OK. And what happened was the value of the property went up. I got this backwards, but the property, the value of the property went up faster than his rents did. The truth is. He's sitting there, dude, he's making money right here, 800 bucks a month. He's earning $9,600 a year, and he's got 10 units, and those 10 units are full all the time. And he's kind of gotten lazy, right? Like he's, he's married, him and the wife are settled down, they're kicking on the porch in the afternoon, he's drinking his Corona every day at 6 o'clock, and he's just, he's getting heavy, you know, he's got a big gut on him right now, and he's got these worn out Ugg slippers that he's out on the porch with, and he's just happy and he's satisfied. His house is paid for. He's like my boy Joe. Uh, Joe Joe's satisfied. He's got his house paid for. He's got his little vacation home paid for. Everything's good and life is good. And what happened was in the last four, five, or six years, there's been this freaking like rush of money going to real estate that pays cash flow. This guy's earning eight hundred dollars a month. He doesn't need to fix the floors the refrigerators. He doesn't have to take the popcorn off the eight foot ceiling. He doesn't have to paint the place. He doesn't have to do anything. Why? Because he's not raising the rents. Okay. So he's like, look, you don't like it. You paint it. I'm already full. I got 10 units or 50 units or whatever the number is. And they're full. And it's the same people paying rent every month. And they're staying there because it's only $800. And they bitch about everything. They complain about, ah, oh, God damn, this is the problem. That's a problem. That's a problem. But they never leave because if they leave, when they go down the street to the newer deal that just sold, the rents are going to be $1,400 a month, not $800 a month. So Ryan and his wife, both overweight drinking Coronas every day on their little porch, watching the sunset in their satisfied complacency, don't raise the rents. And I come along and I'm like, hey, bro, why don't you sell me this deal? You could pick up, you could pick up 60K a door. He's paid for this, by the way. Let's say he's been in it 20 or 30 years, okay? And maybe he only paid 8,000 a unit. That could happen, by the way. There's people out there that paid eight thousand a unit, and they're earning nine grand a year, and they're like, I ain't, "I'm not moving the rents a penny." But the moment you guys buy the deal and you pay hundred and forty grand a door, okay, now you're going to have to change the rents. And today we're going to talk about what you rehab, when you rehab, when do you make sense of a rehab, okay? So because on this hundred and forty thousand dollar deal, I might spend fifteen thousand a door, so that I can get the rents to eighteen hundred. And that's what we're going to be discussing today. When do you spend and when do you mend? <laughs> what do you do? What returns you money and what doesn't, okay? You got a dishwasher, you got the refrigerators, you got the microwave, you got a stove, you got, uh, what else will we have in the kitchen? What's taxes and cards I have here, Ryan? What would a tax and a card be? What is it? it says taxes and cards. Uh, oh, 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 taxes and cords. What's cords? 
You don't know. I don't know. Why don't you find out? Okay. Uh, then you got cabinets and hardware. We got drawers and doors. I got a whole list of a rehab project we just did. This is what we share on our shows on Wednesday, by the way. And we really get into it. Shoe moldings, uh, bath counter, kitchen counter, kitchen cutouts. Um, uh, I think Dan's in there right now. Just ask him what this means because I don't know what it means. And by the way, when you don't know what something means, folks, you need to ask. The phone number here is 305-865-8668, 305 865 8668 305-865-8668. What's taxes? What, what, what does the technical term mean? Nobody knows. You see, that shit happens all the time in real estate investing and whatever you do, you got all these freaking smart people around you that use terms and they don't even know what it means, okay? Taxes just means you pay tax. Okay, but why is taxes in cards, connecting cards on the same line? Doesn't make any sense. I don't trust it. I don't believe it. Okay, we got debris. We got disposal. We got uh, rehab. We got removing popcorn. Uh, you're not going to get any money for the rehab. You understand? You're going to spend maybe 1500 bucks on taking stuff apart, removing stuff, getting rid of waste. There ain't no return on that. You can't raise the rents because you remove the shit. You know what I'm saying? Now, that being said, you still have to do some things, okay? We got kitchen lights, vanity lights, dining room lights, bedroom lights, kitchen backsplash. That'll always get you a little bump because they walk in there like, oh, oh, that's beautiful. I got backsplash for the first time. Paint cabinets. Paint the unit. I'll go over all this. Garbage disposal. You're not going to get any money for a garbage disposal. You're going to spend $174 to put one in. Does that include, inc include installation? Yes. No, it doesn't. It, it I don't believe you. It includes installation and on the very bottom. Okay. On the very bottom. Okay. Overhead and fee? Yep. What, that's the installation? So the installation is built in. You don't know. You just admit you're not sure. No, great. I'm, well, look, I'm, I'm pulling this quote up this morning. Most yeah, but that's include, that's most that. Of those line items include install. Yeah. Okay. Uh, kitchen. Okay. This includes install. Uh, vanity faucet, vanity sink, overhead fee, total cost. Look, you're going to get ripped off. People are going to take advantage of you. You're going to overcharge. They're going to buy twelve faucets, slide off two for the family, take them home. You end up with ten. All that's going to happen. That being said, the beautiful thing about real estate, folks, is like, look, you who's going to pay for this right here? This tenant is going to pay for the improvement of the property. If you can't get them to pay for it, then don't do it. And if you can't get them to pay for it and don't do it, and you're not going to do it and you can't raise the rents, then don't do the deal. Now, the ideal situation is I would take a deal that's, that where, where, where they're paying $800 a month and I'd go to $1,200 a month just because there was disparity or a gap between what they're receiving, uh, what they're collecting, let's go collections here, and really what the market rent was, but this guy just didn't fill it up, okay? That's just a, that's just a missed value add, okay? It's a value add where this guy that bought it, bought it so long ago, he didn't need to raise the rents. You saw the value. It's $400 under market. We go in and actually put a correct market on it, and because we're the new sheriff in town, we simply add $400 and our property now goes from collecting um, $800 a month to $1,200 a month. To go beyond that, though, okay, what we would do is we would take the collected market rent, do a value add on the property. A value add on the property could be the floors. Uh, and I'll go over what you get for each one of these. And I know Ryan's going to come back in. you got to decide how big this rehab job is going to be. Is it going to be $1,500 bucks, or is it going to be $15,000? And depending on where you are, a Tampa rehab, a Tampa rehab, a Tampa rehab is going to be different than a Miami oceanfront rehab. Okay, Austin, Texas, out in the country uh, near the lake there, Lake Travis is going to be different than a, a rehab necessary maybe uh, in the CBD. Okay, and the same for Houston, DC, Los Angeles. You get the point. Okay, dishwashers. Dishwasher is going to cost you about. Um, well, dishwasher, you can't just touch a dishwasher, right? Because once you touch one wall, one thing, one appliance, you got to touch them all. A dishwasher is going to probably be $429. Fridge is $787. Microwave, this is what we're doing a project right now, $236. Stove is $682. We're going to be about $2,200.
just for a kitchen. Okay, so watch what happens. Let's say I have a kitchen. We're doing a deal right now. When we went in, the rents were $1,800. we are taking those rents to $2,800 right now. Okay, this is what we did. The kitchen's going to cost me $2,200 to finish. That $2,200 will probably get us $250 of this $1,000 increase. We are actually doing a project right now, and you can call up with your own rehab job if you got a question or a deal, 305-865-8668, 305-865-8668. When we did the kitchen, we had to do the ceiling because the ceiling had popcorn on it. You can't redo the kitchen, make it all shiny, and be left with this 1970 look on the ceiling and the walls, right? So all of a sudden, you're like, oh, now i got to change the switches. Oh, now i got to paint the deal. Oh, shit, now i got to do the cabinets. Oh, my gosh, i got to do the counters. The counters on this project, counters, kitchen counters, once you do the kitchen, then you're like, maybe i got to do the bathroom. Kitchen counters, bath, kitchen cutout, and vanity cost us another $2,300. This is for a bath and to finish the kitchen. All the tile work, that was another $2,300, okay? We think that that was worth $250 a month. Put them together, might be worth $500. Do them separately, it might not get you the full $250. You follow me? Okay? Now, where's this money going to come from? You're going to come from a rehab budget, okay? So when you buy the property for $80,000 or $140,000, then you're going to say, okay, I'm paying one forty, and then I'm going to put $15,000 aside to fix this unit times the number of units that you have. Uh, all of a sudden, you run into a thermostat on your wall. You got one in the living room. You got one in the kitchen. You got one in the bedroom. And then you got to change thermostats. They're going to be a couple hundred bucks. Kitchen lights, vanity lights, dining room lights, bedroom lights. Uh, this is how we made sense of this project, okay? We paid, um, we paid for this project. Uh, does Ryan know what, what number we paid? Is Ryan in there? He left me, huh? Okay. Uh, this project, and let me just do the math on it. 305-865-8668. We paid 69 divided by, what, what was the number of units on that project? Um, <laughs> that's crazy, man. Card owned capital. Are you, are you talking about the, the heights? No, I'm talking about, no, like on this height deal that Johnny just brought up, um, 235 units divided by 235. So we paid we paid $293,000 a door for that that asset we just bought. We're going to spend I think we're spending $15,000 a unit. Okay? Now, the Heights deal that we bought is 646 units. We uh, it's a big number we're spending on this property. Beautiful property. I'm not going to spend any money on it and I think I think I will raise the rents 400 bucks in the next 24 months over the next 24 months to get it to where it should be. It's under market now. I truly believe this asset's under market. Over the next 24 months, I will get it to a stabilized 2,200 a month from the 1,800, okay? Now, how do I make sense on this deal? Well, this deal was gonna pay us about 4%, 4% before we did the rehab. When we spend the rehab, we think we get an extra $12,000 a year. If you do the math on that, I'm getting 4% on the property. Watch this. 4% to buy the property, this property. Okay, big, big number. Just consider it's one unit. Or in this case, it's 235 units. So you just multiply times the number of units. And I'm like, okay, I'm going to get 4% to buy the property, 4% cash flow to buy the property. If I spend the 15 grand, what do I get? I get $12,000 in new income. 12000 12,000 divided by 15,000 is an 80% return, okay? Now, to be completely honest and transparent, some of that is just because this property was under-rented. I could probably get uh, 400 or four, almost $5,000 a year doing nothing just because it was under market. So, this entire 12000 that I have right here is not because of the $15,000 spend. It's only because of probably maybe 7000 So now I'm going to take the 7000 divide that by the 15000 I spent, and that's still a 50% return, okay? So $7,000, that's still a 50% return on my investment. I'm doing it, okay? Look, anything but... 
anything above about 16 to 20%. If you can earn 16 to 20%, if you spend, let's say you spend $4,000. Guys, you guys got to clean this, these up, okay? I really don't want to do this every week. If you spend $4,000, that could get you uh, paint, it could get you uh, cabinets, it could get you some uh, uh, some new look. Probably doesn't get you the backsplash, it doesn't get you full floors, plank floors. You spend $4,000, you should be able to raise the rents at least $80 a month or a thousand bucks, a total of a thousand dollars a year, and that gets you basically a 25% increase. 25% on your investment of $4,000 is the sick return, and you should be willing to do it. And when you do it, you got to remember, every time you raise the rents, uh, uh, 80 bucks a month, $80 times 10 units, 50 units, 100 units. Okay, the, that's why the number of units starts really speeding this up. Watch, when I ch change the payments, when I change the rents, 80 bucks. If I could keep the entire 80 bucks, meaning the expenses of the property don't go up. Okay, the cost to run the property continuously does not go up when I spend money on it. It shouldn't. The spin costs me, okay, but it should not cost money to run the property because I made it better. In fact, you could actually reduce your expenses because you put in some more economical uh, lighting and or water, et cetera, okay? So $80 divided by a cap rate of five increases the value of the property by 1600 bucks. If I did that right. Let me check it again. $80. I'm sorry, it's $1,000 a year. $1,000 divided by 0 0.06. Increase the property value by $16,666. So notice what I did. I got a 25% return on my investment of four grand in this case. In the case of our Boca deal, we put, we invested, uh, yeah, we invested, um, $15,000, we're getting $12,000 back. Huge, huge return on our money. Uh, in the case of this example right here, a simple example, I spent four grand to redo the, the wood floors, if I could pull that off, or the kitchen cabinets, et cetera. And I got 80 bucks a month. But the $80 a month, the $80 a month, the 25% return on my investment, the $1,000 a year, okay, actually increased the value of the property. Got me a little IV, baby. Got me an IV on my appreciation. Hey, the number's 305-865-866. Call me, talk to me. Do you have a question or do you have a deal? Let's go to our first caller. And if you guys can keep this on the rehab, keep it on the rehab, if you're, if you're showing me a deal, we're going to do that on Wednesdays at our club, grantcardone.com forward slash club, grantcardone.com forward slash club. Johnny, who we got? All right, we got Justin from Metro Detroit. Hey, Justin, what's up, buddy? If, you, if you're showing me a deal, we're going to do that on Wednesday. Johnny, go oh, ahead. Grant. What you got? Justin? Hey, what's going on? Come on, on man. GC? How you doing in Detroit? Doing good, doing good. I have a deal for you, sir. Okay, what you got? Uh, I got a deal. It's in Ann Arbor. Yeah, I know Ann Arbor. Ann Arbor. All right, so here's my situation. I put in an offer last week on the deal. Um, they uh, connected with a broker. Whisper price was between 70, 75 million. And uh, we put in an offer of 73,450. Ooh, right. you came so in. You skipped him good, didn't you? Is I spoke with Pat. Um, or Kat earlier today at your office there, and she was saying that right now, in terms of IRR, investors are getting anywhere. I'm, so, I'm sorry, I couldn't hear you. No, I'm listening to you. No, so, yeah, it was Pat. You said, you said she said investors are getting an IRR of uh, anywhere between 15, 15, minimum of 15 percent and up. And I'm doing my man. I don't know how you guys are getting that number. Yeah. Okay. So your deal is seventy-five million dollars. You offered seventy-three million. Seventy-three uh, four fifty. Yep. Yeah. Good. Seventy-three four fifty. Okay. You, do you think that that? Do you really think that one, that the the difference between seventy-three four fifty and seventy-five million is going to change anything? No, because when we did the math. No. I did the math to 
to make sure make sure we can pay the DCR. Yeah. And even if we overpaid on the deal, the DCR still works. Yeah, good. So so why'd you why why'd you go cut the guy by by is it seventy three thousand so, or seventy three million? Seventy three million. Seventy three yeah. million. So why you want to cut the yeah. guy a million six, bruh? Well, here's my I was trying to get within that as close to that IRR okay. as I could. Okay, don't worry, about, don't, worry don't worry about don't worry about that don't worry about that IRR, okay? Look, tell me about the N O and the I. The N O and the I is give me one second. I have it right here. But for the everybody NOI watching is, this, for everybody watching this, you guys trying to cut somebody a million dollars on a seventy five million dollar deal, like you're chasing nothing. You're chasing like you're worried about the wrong thing. You're penny wise and and, and million dollars stupid. So Go the ahead. NOI, the NOI on the deal is two million seven hundred and fifty six. Two million seven hundred fifty-six thousand three hundred sixty-seven dollars. Okay, good, good. So let me ask you this question now. Um, uh, yeah, yeah. How you like the location? It's awesome. It's about it's not six minutes from the university. Okay, good. And, and is it mostly uh, students? No, no. This one's a little different. A lot of professionals in this building. Good. I like that. I like that better than the students. So you're, you're paying yeah. a three point seven cap. Um, I had it at three five, but okay. Okay, good. So that's fine. Three five, whatever. Um, and how many? How, how old is the property? Um, it is a. Give me one second here. It is three. It's three hundred and twenty-four units. Yeah. How old is it though? Man, you you offered seventy-five million. You don't know how old the property is. What's wrong with you, man? Uh, 19, 19, 1976. 1976. I was getting out of high school, bro. Like I was wrecking cars. For sure, for sure. Yeah. Okay. So look, you know you got to spend some money there, right? Yeah, I'm going to need about um about 20 22 million as far as the the, uh, the down payment. No, no, but you're going to need to spend some money on rehab. Well, they've already they've already done rehabs on the, some of the units already. They okay. have they've rehabbed about 111 units. Okay, out of the um, 324, 111 have been rehabbed, right? Correct, and they so, spent about fourteen thousand five hundred on each unit. Okay, so now you're gonna you're gonna make a decision. Number one, let's just assume that you love the property and that uh, you're good to go and you want to buy it, and and you're gonna figure out. Uh, cause I'll answer your other question here. He's like, Hey, how do I make sense of the, uh, or your 15% internal rate of return? I'm going to tell you that I actually right. believe the 15% internal rate of return that we advertise at Cardone Capital is low. I think it's a conservative number. I think I hit it year after year. In fact, I think I believe in my mind that I will exceed that number on every deal. Okay. okay. Disclaimer. I cannot promise you that I can do that. I'm just telling you guys what I think I do when I buy these deals. I truly believe that. And uh, I have been, I have, I have exceeded that over the history of my career. I've, I'm into the 28s, 30s, 35s, 40s. I'm into deals that are infinite returns because we returned our capital to the investors where, where we don't have any more money in the deal. Now, in your case, you got a deal that's $74 million. You got to put $22 million down to buy it, but you need to figure another 200 for you to capitalize on this asset. Uh, 200 times. What are you saying you're going to spend there? 15 grand? Or did you say more than that? It's, uh, it's, it's 14,500 for each unit. And they've done 111 already. Yeah, so I know. the remaining still need to be updated. Yeah, so 200 times 15,000. Uh, so you need to spend another 3 million in rehab. Correct. Okay, correct. now. They spent, they, they, uh, they now, gave me their CapEx. Yeah, they good. spent about two. 2.8 already. I got it. So now the three million you're going to spend. Okay. Well, if they already spent 2.8, they only did a third of the property, which is not uncommon for a guy that buys a deal, rehabs it. He does about a third of the property. He convinces the marketplace that if you spend another two thirds, you can raise the rents on the rest of them. I don't know if that's true or not. What's the average rent on the property now before rehab and then after? Before rehab, you're looking at for your one bedroom. You're looking at fourteen twelve, and for your two bed. Two no, bed, no, two no. Bed, just leave, leave it alone. Just stay on the one bedroom. After rehab, how much is it? 
fifteen hundred. Well, no, you're not. You're not going to spend. See, see, this is the, what the show's about today. You're not going to spend fourteen thousand dollars to get an eighty dollar bump. The return's not there. Okay, so eighty dollars times twelve is nine hundred sixty divided by fourteen thousand uh, dollars. That's a six percent return. You're like, I'm not doing that for six percent. You, you, you got to get rid of the tenant. You can't fix the property while the tenant's in there. I got to go get construction right. workers and rehab and insurance and blah, blah. And I'm going to have a down unit for probably 30 days. So um, I don't believe those numbers. I don't believe anybody would spend 14 grand to get 80 bucks a month. Like Now, if it changes the rents 400 bucks from 14. From well, no, no. I'm, well, what we did when I underwrote the deal. I kept it. I'm reading off my sheet that I used to underwrite. I keep it conservative. No, no, but, but bro, my- but bro, just look at just look at the market rents. What are they getting for rents right now on a rehab versus one that isn't rehabbed? So when we get when we're done with this call, look, you you like the location, cool, man. The cap rate doesn't bother me except for this. I'm buying a brand new deal. Show them my deal, Johnny, and then and then give me the address of your deal. The address is. And he had my deal. Uh, 3,000 3, signature what? Boulevard. The single picture, Johnny. I want the single picture of the big, the big property. It's on my Instagram. Say again. 3,000 signature Boulevard. And it's a 1990. I apologize about before. It's a 1990. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm glad I'm not one of your investors because right now you would be losing credibility. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Just keep it real, man. Like, you got to know, 1990 makes me feel a lot better because 1990s, I was now... I wasn't 1976. I was cleaned up, man. I was starting to get a little hustle on in my life. So I'm feeling better about you, man. Hey, where are you going to get all the money down for this deal? Well, I, well I've got the... Uh, this is a good-looking property, with, uh, bro. Investors. Yeah. Well, hey. here's the thing. When I, spoke with my inve- when I spoke with the guy that does lending for Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac, yeah. we were able to get 70 to 75%. Yeah. No, here's the-, the problem that I'm running into. The problem is because they're saying, well, Justin, you're not experienced taking down a property of this size. Exactly. Exactly. So this right. is what this is what happens when you do a deal. OK. OK. Number one, they're going to be like, OK, does the deal work? Number two, you know, the deal has to work. So they looked at the numbers already. They said, hey, the deal works. The second question they're going to ask is, can you manage this deal? And, and this is what I tell people all the time. You could have money that could be like, you have the down payment, the deal's great, we can get you the financing, but now it's, who's the sponsor? Like, does right. Justin have enough experience to manage a deal through a pullback, through problems, through a COVID, et cetera? So, Justin, are you in my club? That's, that's what me and Pat were talking about today. Dude, what are you... Bro, look, you should be in my club because it immediately gives you, it gives you credibility. Like people see, oh, wow, you're in a professional real estate club. Oh, you're with 150 other real estate investors, serious real estate investors. Who's some of the people involved? Grant Cardone. Oh, Grant Cardone. I know him. They know my name. Dude, Fannie and Freddie know who I am. I'm, a, I'm an authorized, approved uh, uh, a borrower from Fannie and Freddie. So those guys all know who I am. But you guys should be in there. Everybody here that's watching that's a serious real estate investor, the reason you want to be in there is for confidence. Like, I'm telling Justin right now, the 3.7 cap does not bother me in Ann Arbor. It's a great prop, a great location in the country. It's a great property. It's a proven market. It's in Michigan, which is a state that has been beat up, hammered, but Ann Arbor's protected. He's got a good asset here. He's got a great size of asset. The, 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 the million six haircut that he gave him, I wouldn't have bothered with that. I'd get this deal under contract, figure out what my rehab is, beautiful property, because if he could spend 14 grand like we just did, and he could possibly raise the rents 800 bucks or 400 bucks, even 400 bucks times 12 is $4,800 a year. 48 divided by the 14, that means I'm pay, that's a, 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 a 35% return on my investment. 
So the property pays four or five percent with with a with a good loan. The property would pay five percent, and the rehab on the property would pay him another twenty five percent. And you see how we get to a fifteen percent internal rate of, uh, of, of uh, internal rate of return. So for all of you out there, like Justin. You're going to go get a big deal, and your problem is not going to be the deal or the money or the debt. It's going to be you. It's going to be your management experience and convincing the seller and or the lender that you can actually handle this deal and bring it home. Okay, let's talk to our next seller. Justin, I hope you join our club. For everybody, it's grantcardone.com forward slash club, grantcardone.com forward slash club. Every single week we meet for a Zoom call to support one another. I'm on the calls, most of the calls, not every one of them, but most of them, every week. And then three times a year, we meet in person, okay? Twice a year, we meet for a two-day. And then one time a year, you, you come as a VIP for a big summit where we have a couple thousand investors and, and lenders there. Go ahead. All right, we got Steve from Pennsylvania. And I like that Ann Arbor deal, man. I wish I could get in on that deal. See, see the cabinets? Can you show them the cabinets, Johnny? These are cabinets that you would redo. Those didn't get redone. All they did was resurface those. Uh, we're actually experimenting right now with a with a um, uh, on our cabinets to do a uh, wrap like you wrap a car, dude. It looks sick and it's cheap, okay? But it looks good. Uh, but you can see this doesn't have full. It, it's got what looks like a backsplash. They'll probably advertise it as a backsplash, but there could be a lot of improvements to this pro this property. They got the stainless in there. They didn't change the floors. If they did, it's terrible. Um, they took the popcorn off the ceiling. That's what we're talking about in here. There's no really nice handles. The lighting doesn't look that great. That could be improved. So they went with a light upgrade. Here, they have carpets on the floor. It shouldn't be carpet anymore. No, nobody wants carpets, not even the cats. I mean, only the cats want the carpet. And you know what they want it for. The bedrooms, even the bedrooms on the second floors and third floors, you can go with wood on those floors today and put a, silence, a silencer underneath the woods. Um, it's a great property. It's a beautiful property, though. They took the popcorn off the ceiling. They painted the walls. They didn't pull the carpet. They should. Um, people like the wood floors. Uh, this is a furnace unit, by the way. And as you can tell, um, again, cabinets could probably be lighter, but the, the, they spent money. Now, what I want to see on this asset is I want to see the ones that haven't been done. See, here's a good shot of the floors in the kitchen. That was exactly the floor I was describing it should be. That's what it should look like. Um, a very cheap, very cheap solution on the cabinets. No handles. No, you know, there's no, there's no pop, right? There's no backsplash. So these, if they spent 14 grand to rehab these, uh, you, you guys should see our rehab. I know, call Ryan, tell Ryan, I need to see the rehab of our Bocas. I, I thought he was going to be here and then he just left me. Why do you abandon me in the middle of a deal, Ryan? Okay. All right. Let's talk to our next uh, caller. All right. We got Steve from Pennsylvania. Steve from Pennsylvania. Yes. I just have a general, a general question, a quick general question. Um, what do you think about um, a, a property, a 12 unit with train tracks about 10 feet behind the building? Yeah. That's by about three to four times a day. Yeah. Where, where is it? Pennsylvania. Yeah, well, where, 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 what's the location like other than the train tracks? I mean, the train tracks don't bother good, good me. Loca good location. The B-plus location. Yeah. Um, everything's good. I, I just, the train tracks scare me a little bit. Yeah, what, dude, like, but like, the, like, are you going to live there or are you going to own it? No. So, you know, like no. train tracks could be cool for some people, right? Like, I'm... I'm Right, we're here in Miami. There's a place, like, literally, I could l go four blocks, and I'm going to run into a train track. And mm -hmm. for years, people said nobody will buy there, okay? That real estate will become some of the most desirable real estate in oh. Aventura. And, and so mm -hmm. that doesn't bother me too much as long as, uh, it, you know, I'm sure they slow down during the day. I'm sure they don't, you know, beep, beep, do the, do the, do the, like the horn thing like they used to. And I think if it's close to jobs, if it's in a good location, how far from a Whole Foods? The only time I would I'm trying, um, uh, about 15 minutes. Yeah, and how far from a Starbucks? 15 minutes. Yeah, okay. So, you know, and what's the rent there? 
800. Yeah, you got a location? You got an address? See, but see, like, like he's not buying this deal right now because he has doubt about the location. If he was with a bunch of investors that could look at this deal and say, dude, look, I'll put some money in with you. All of a sudden, his confidence goes up. He, we go to a lender, and the lender's like, we'll lend you money at the railroad. Boom, his confidence goes up again. So that's why, guys, don't try to do real estate by yourself. There's so many things to learn here. There's so many things I still don't understand. Like, where do we get our microwaves? How small are they? Okay, do they go in the cabinets now, or do they go into a drawer? Okay, there's so much technology out there right now. It's, like, incredible. Do we do the smart entries, or do we leave, leave it alone? You know, do, do we start charging people for water? If I go in with some low water mechanisms, low flow mechanisms, do I start passing that water bill on to the, to the tenant? Probably in this railroad example that he's doing, the, the tenants are getting free water. One way to improve the property is to put everybody on a RUBS program. RUBS being I'm paying for my own water now. RUBS stands for what? Uh, uh, reimbursed utility bills. I don't yeah, know, yeah exactly. Up. Reimbursed utility bills. The point is you don't need to know everything in this game. There's going to be plenty of people to help you. The lender, okay? The seller. Like, there's so much help in a real estate deal. It's not like buying a house and you're, you're on your own. In a real estate deal, the bank wants to help make sure this never goes back. Ratio utility billing system. Ratio utility billing system. is called RUBS, which means Johnny, uh, Nathan, Ryan, and myself live in a property, and we pay our portion of... The freaking water bill. Sometimes that could be $25 a month, 100 bucks a month, and it costs me maybe, maybe 2,500 bucks to put that in. 2,500 for them to pay for their water. It's a good investment. Same thing with VIP pickup, park, uh, garage pickup. So, and, and this doesn't have to just be on these 300 unit beautiful properties like we buy. Like, Ryan, what do we spend on, um, what do we spend on our, our uh, 10X living at Boca? The main one, Altice Boca. Yeah, we spent nothing. Well, we, so so on the interiors. Oh, zero. We spent nothing. Okay, oh, so this is a property, Johnny. If you could show them this property, have we raised the rents here? We're raising them between four and eight percent. Yeah. So so here's a property because I know a lot of you think, oh, I got to spend money to raise the rents. No, you don't. In the beginning, what you're looking for is a property that you do not have to spend money on, a property where there's a gap between what. They're paying now and what the market should be. Um, see this little guy right here? God, I run into so many problems on the internet. It's unbelievable. See this little guy right here, st sits right here, when people are trying to go through their photos, this mm -hmm. needs to get moved. Because I, I literally can't, can't, can't change pictures on it. Try, try clicking the photo itself. No. Or the, the, the side arrow? Yeah. Little side arrow on the keyboard? All right, try that, Johnny. <laughs> These guys think I'm stupid. Come on, man. You know I'm not. You know I... Oh, there it is. There it is. I found it. I had to... See, see show them this. Like, like, we're not spending money on this, okay? This is done, dude. Like, I already spent money. I'm not going to spend a penny. Now, what we are going to do is figure out how to raise the rents there. And the rents right now are being moved from what, 2500 2500 to 27 to three grand. Okay, so we're going to remove these rents. When you move a rent from 2500 to $3,000, that is a 20% move. How do we do that? Because the guy that we bought it from, the seller was a builder. The builder was trying to get it filled up. He's trying to get it filled up so he can sell it to a guy like me. Okay, and he doesn't want to sell it all half full. So he, what he, he, he lowers the rents to load the place up. I come in and I'm like, now we're going to manage the building. Now we're going to take care of the tenant. Now we're going to give them a real experience living in a great property, taking care of them. We're going to put our 10X brand on it. People are going to be like, I want part of that 10X thing. I don't know what it means. I don't know what it is. We got single women coming over there. I want to live at the 10X property. Okay. Okay. So uh, they don't know what it means. They're just like, I, I, it sounds good. Okay, and then our job is to provide them with an experience to where they can pay three thousand dollars a month and feel good about it. Look at these, look at these, look at these beautiful properties. So rather than putting fixtures up on the wall, notice those fixtures would cost me five thousand dollars to put on the wall. We painted them on the wall. Isn't that beautiful? The paint cost is what twelve hundred. 
These light fixtures would have cost us 5000 each, these chandeliers. It's a brilliant way to make a move, to make people feel like I'm, you know, look at this amenities. These are common amenities right here. This is money that the builder spent to make it sexy for the guy when he walks in. Oh, my God, I'm going I'm to I'm 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 become Tom Cruise. I'm going to be shooting with my eyes closed. People walk in, they're like, this is sick. Okay, let me bring you to the swimming pool. Okay, guy looks at this place, pulls up. Oh, my gosh, I feel like a star. So, so this is on the high end. This is some of the stuff that we're buying today. And But when you go... By the way, I bought this for the same cap rate that the guy's paying for that 1990 stuff. This guy, he's got to go spend... Fifteen thousand dollars a unit on. I don't have to spend that. Same same exact return going in, except I get to move the rents. Remember, I started the show today. The ideal thing is to move the rents without a spend. Just because there's a difference between where they are and where the market should be, and that's what we did. Go ahead, Ron. No, I was just going to say these communities, like Altice Book, is a prime example. When they walk into the building, they're like, "Okay, what am I canceling? I'm canceling my gym membership. Yeah. I'm canceling my spa membership. Yeah. I'm canceling because you know that thing has a cold plunge. It has a cold plunge. It has a a, a, a 24-hour gym. Yeah. I mean, the thing has a, a hot and cold sauna. I mean, when you I go didn't know there, it had a cold plunge, man. Yeah, yeah. When well, okay, ev everywhere how... that has a cold plunge, I know. Yeah, yeah. So look at this. So I show up there look on the this, weekends. Look but, at this swimming pool like they have a swimming pool equal to what i have at regalia okay that swimming pool at regalia where i live uh the minimum to get in that place is 10 million bucks and 50 grand a month uh my house my house this has got palm trees equal to the palm trees i put in my joint i mean the view is not as good here but you got a community, you got social networking, you got, like Ryan said, a spa that's open 24 hours a day. So Ryan's saying, and, and we're next to a green what? Uh, a fresh market. Fresh market. You can literally walk to it. I'm not talking about a long walk. I'm talking about 30 feet walk that's covered. So anyway, these are the two ends of the spectrum. One is the rehab deal that you're buying. We're, buying, we're looking at some rehab stuff right now, and the other is a high end. You guys should be looking at both. Join me every Wednesday. GrantCardone.com forward slash club for exclusive club. It's about 150 people that join every week to talk about real estate, to discuss deals, to underwrite deals, to give people guidance. Yay, nay, maybe somewhere in between and to connect people up for investing, for debt and for deals. Okay, let's talk to our next caller, Johnny. All righty, we got Luke in Minnesota. Tell you what, we're seeing a lot of good deals on that Wednesday call too. Yeah, Luke, what's up, buddy? GC, talk to me. How you doing, pal? I'm doing well, my friend. Doing well. Just want to say thanks for what you do, man. First off, been watching you for years. Hey, thank you so much, man. You got a deal or you got a question? I got a deal under contract. Okay. So uh, type in this address, 1721 Ferry Street, F-E-R-R-Y. F E R R Y. Yup, Ferry Street South, and it's in Anoka, Minnesota. I got it. I got it. What does Anoka mean? So we're 20. Anoka, it actually, I don't know what it means. You don't know. I know it's the Halloween capital of the world. It's the what? Halloween capital of the world. Hmm. Yeah, Halloween capital. Yes, sir. That's good. Trick or treat. Um, so I got, wait, go ahead, sorry. I said trick or treat. Okay, this, this property <laughs> was built in 1972. 78. Okay, I'm sorry, I just guessed. You, sh you guys all should be able to look at a property. Can you see it, Ron? You can't see it, Ron. And, 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 and know the year. I was off by six years. Um, and how many units are here? 29. 29. Like the size of it. What are the current rents? Current rents, do you want on average for all, or do you want one bed, two bed, or the efficiency? No, just give me, just give me the one bedroom. Okay. On average, uh, one beds are 831. Okay. Is that low or high for that market? That's low. Those things need to be up above $300. So now... This is in line with what we're talking about today. Can I get the 300? Can I get the 300 bucks without spending any money? Um, I think you could get to 
I think you could get to 200 without spending any money. Okay, so then everybody's going to be like, okay, dude, if I can get 200 bucks, if I can go from 831 to 1031, why the hell would I spend the money? Well, there's an answer to that question. Sometimes you just got to spend the money. You don't want to just keep slumlording your client and being a greedy. Like, we, we don't greed out. We're long-term investors in the property. Um, now, no, notice what, what Luke's got here. He's got 29 units that he thinks he can raise the rents 200 bucks on. This is a screamer. This is one of the examples. That'll make him a half a million dollars if he can pull it off. 29 times 200 is 5,800 bucks a month times 12. He'll keep 72,000. I'm, 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 I'm rounding up right now, but it's close to $72,000. Is that right? Yeah, $72,000, which will increase the value of this property divided by 0.06. Uh, by $1.2 million. Bro, you should buy this deal. Okay. What's yeah, your... I'm all in on it, Grant. At yeah. even the current price at 3.5, let me let me tell you what you we're See, by the right way, now. I told him to buy the deal without even knowing how much it was. So, like, now, now let's go back and do the 3.5, okay? If he can raise these rents, though, if he can raise these rents, I know he makes a million dollars, despite what he paid for the property. If he... If he's paying too much, just so everybody understands, nobody's going to give him a loan on the deal. So don't worry about it. You're like, oh, am I overpaying? The bank, the debt will determine whether you're overpaying or not. And I, and I don't think Luke's got $2.9 million. So what's the price of it? $3.5 million. $3.5 million. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to look at $3.5 million. I'm going to divide it by 29 units. And I'm going to be like, okay, dude, I'm at hundred and twenty grand a door. Like... Does that seem expensive to you? Nope. No. Okay, what, what city are we in? What are the rents? Oh, it's in Minnesota. Anoka. Yeah, the rents are yep. 831 a month. I'm like, I'm good on this. Yep. We got 300,000 cars that drive right in front of the property every single day. Show it to him, Johnny. Bro, if you don't buy this, I'm going to buy it. Okay? <laughs> I got it under contract. Um, and you I better keep it under contract. You it. better keep it under contract. Now, look, look at these interiors now. If they're getting eight thirty one a month for that, now depending on the market, you can tr you can push m rents too much. But oh, that's a chiller, bro. You got to be a little careful of that chiller right there. I don't know why they showed that picture. Let's see it. R River stabilized C property is a Class C stabilized asset in a growing North suburban. They're admitting it's a C. C stands <laughs> Brand for can new roof do. on the thing too. <laughs> Actually, one of my partners put the roof on it last year. Okay. Uh, a new owner would have a true value add opportunity to increase the rents 20% or more. See, so you're a little higher than they're saying the rents can be increased. Uh, studios are 752. Yeah, One bedrooms are 831s. Two bedrooms are 928. Uh, again, you're the only one that knows the lo lo location. Yeah. Nope. But, but uh, you know, you got a new roof. It was built in 1978. Uh, I don't. I don't think you get hurt on this. No, I don't think so either. Can I tell you where my partners have concern right now? Where your partner? What? My partner has a little bit of concern on the price. Yeah, well, that's the problem with partners. You see, they're punks. Ask your partner. Look, you want to make profit, <laughs> or you want to be a punk bitch? Yeah. We got great financing on it right now, too. We got 20% down. Yeah, that's great, dude. Finance, that's great. What so. you should do, are you in my real estate are you in our real estate club? I'm not in the real estate club. You should join. Tell your partner he probably won't do it because he's cheap. And, and um, or you both should join. But I, got, I got plenty of funds to buy it myself. You know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, dude, do I it mean, yourself. I don't really need a partner on but it. Do it. But the question is, do you, if you have the money, do you have the confidence? Because the people, yeah, I'm I'm all in on it. Okay, well then, you know, tell your partner to go away and buy the deal yourself. But you should still join our club because you're going to have even more confidence and figure out new and better ways to do this to get these rents to 1,200 and make the kind of money I'm talking about. By the way, that million two is a $200 rent increase. If he gets 400 a month rent increase because he does some really tricky st stuff to the property, which means new kitchens, new floors. Take care, take, uh, get rid of the popcorn, give it a fresh look on the outside, use some paint, some good, classy, sexy paints. 
uh, uh, use some landscaping, some artificial turf. You guys come by my house sometime. Look at the artificial turf I did at my house. I took a house that was cold, dude, and just made it cool as could be. Like, you literally, your temperature drops is so cool at my place. Okay? I spent money on palm trees. Not that you do that in Minnesota because they'll freeze, but, you know, landscaping goes a long <laughs> ways to changing a rinse. Let's talk to our next caller. And by the way, Luke, you should, do, you should join our real estate club, bro. You're the perfect person to join our real estate club. Twenty-five grand is a small price to pay to get access to me every week and three times a year in person where you get to meet my friends, other investors, and other lenders. That, that, like his, his setup right here, man, if he could take these washing machines and dryers and put them in the units... That's going to get you another 100 bucks a month so I don't have to walk down there. People will pay $1,200 a year not to have to walk to a laundromat and pay a quarter. All right, you got Lalo. I'm good. I'm good, Ryan, if, you, if you're tied up. Did we get that deal? We get it? Are they dicking around? They are? Lied, yeah. Lied, I knew it. Lied, lied. I know. We got, got Lalo with Houston. They jacking, huh, dude? They, they went south. Join our real estate club. Perfect. I'm working deals while I'm doing the show, by the way. Ma massive deal I'm doing right now. Go ahead. Lalo. Don't be a Lulu. What's going on, Mr. Grant Cardone? Uncle G. What's up, baby? What's up, my nephew? <laughs> Uncle G, I just have a... I'm going to get off your hair right quick, but, uh, you know, I've been a follower for years, as everybody is. Um... I'm just your normal, typical Mexican. I only have a question, just one question, and uh, and then and then I get off your hair. Um, we're from Houston, Texas. Uh, uh, Ray, not born. I was born in Mexico, so I'm just a regular Latino kind of a guy. Um, I have we we've had this property, my wife and I, till we got divorced, and uh, she didn't want the property. She took everything else besides the property. I came over here, me being a city boy, um, met a lot of people here, which, which, which they're cowboys, you know? Yeah, what's boys. your question? What's your question, player? My question is, should I sell my 10-acre land to move to a 50-acre land? I'm, I'm towards College Station, I don't, you know, A&M. Yeah, I know it. Yeah, if you can sell your land, you should sell your land, and you should buy an asset that has income on it. And, and that's what, the, you know, because I met these cowboys and everything. I mean, I'm, I'm fresh to all of this. I'm a city boy again, like I repeat myself. Yeah. Um, but, but, but fencing, how much, how fencing much, how much land, land, how much land, sell this. How much land you got? Ten acres. Ten, and how, how, what's it worth? It is worth 150. Yeah, and then, and then... It's not much, like, with y'all kind of a boys y'all been talking about, you know? Yeah, yeah, but what you should do, I know, dude, but but how does it feel to be around a bunch of people talking big numbers? They, they, it feels great. Yeah, you know? exactly. They, they, I want you guys to feel horse. great. I want you guys to be around big think, big people, big money. Like, nobody's ever offered this, ever, ever. Like, in my entire lifetime, nobody's ever said, come on in, man, be part of my club. Be part of the club. Be part of where the money's joining, coming, whether you're on the come up or you already made it, man, I'm trying to put people together. I want to be an inclusive to all people that want to want the dream. So the only way to get the dream is to touch it. You can't just think about it in your head. You got to get close to it. So what I would tell you to do, brother, is I'd sell that hundred fifty thousand dollar piece of land. I'd take the hundred fifty and I'd get involved in a multifamily apartment deal that will provide you and your family with cash flow. Okay. Hey, Avery, let me call you right back. I got a call. You oh. guys in or out? Oh, we're in. We're in for sure, bro. We're in. Okay. All right. Sounds good. I'll talk I mean, 100% we're in. My goal, my goal is to buy the deal. Okay, good. Okay? Good. Thanks. All right. Sounds good. I'll talk to you later. Bye. So that's a big deal I'm working right there, man. I mean, it's a monster. And I forgot I was supposed to get him all the data at 1 o'clock. So, um, so, look, this game is played because we all come here to this country and or we're born in this country, nobody knows us. Like, you could be a rich kid. Nobody knows you. Nobody knows you. They're not, nobody's going to give a favor to a rich kid they don't know. So, 
to all of you out there, you're on the come up, man. You want to go to the next level? You got to get known, okay? So I'd sell that property. I invest. I'd put. I'd invest with some of the people that we club up with every week that I put together in this club. I'd be like, hey, invest with one of those guys. Get your money involved in a deal where you can start growing and rolling your money, okay? My name's Grant Cardone. We do this every Wednesday, folks. I'm sorry. Every every Wednesday, I do it with a private group of people where we actually meet people face to face on a Zoom call. Three times a year, we get in the same room together, work deals, discuss deals, chop it up, have dinner, drink, have a good time, whatever y'all want to do, we do it. But we meet three times a year so you can get faces together so you guys can start realizing, hey, who do I trust? Who don't I trust? Who do I need to be with? What do I need to learn? Okay. You got to connect up. Real estate is a people game. You cannot do real estate without people. You have to have partners. You got to have investors. You got to have debt. You got to have confidence. You're going to get a partner that doesn't have confidence. More partners have talked me out of more money than I have today. Listen to what I just said. I brought people into my life that didn't know what I knew about real estate that talked me out of real estate that I should have bought. I've had more friends and family cost me more damn money than the money I've made because they got in my head. So you got to get around the right group of people that are, that are seeing the future for the kind of real estate that you're buying. Like the guy that asked about the trains today, the, the, young, the young immigrant that, that asked about how do, what do I do with my land, to the guy that called from Ann Arbor that said, hey, should I buy this deal? Folks, confidence. I'm not talking about a good attitude, by the way. I'm talking about the confidence to get a deal done. Find it, see it, tie it up close it, get a loan from the bank, manage it, and then, as we discussed today, how and when to rehab it so you can raise the rent. My name's Grant Cardone. If you want to be part of this, just keep showing up every Monday. Man, it's free. It's on YouTube. It's on Facebook. It's on the iTunes. It's on the iTunes. Where else? It's on the sticker, the Sirius X. Now, we put it on the wicker. We might drop it in the clubhouse, the trap house, and the jump house. Okay, but you guys that are listening to it on iTunes, man, make sure make sure you subscribe to the iTunes channel. Make sure you subscribe, by the way, uh, to uh, on the YouTube with the little notification, the bell, or whatever it is. The dinger. The dinger. Don't be a don't be a ding danger. Be a dinger. Hit that dinger, and I'll I'll send you a little notification every week and say, hey, we going live. You want to learn something from the Grant Cardone 10x boy? And I'm going to show you, I'll tell you what, like me or don't like me, it don't matter. I'll show you how to make money in real estate. I got people that hate my guts that follow my show. They don't really hate me. They just envious of what I put together. Okay. And we got a lot of stuff about to happen. If you want to buy real estate yourself, I'll show you how to do it. If you want to do it with me, we have a deal right now, Johnny. Can you show them the picture of just the one property, Johnny? The shot I did on Instagram, that's the only one I want. Ah, irreplaceable institutional quality, number one sub-market in the top market in the country, number one market for urban renters, 34% rent growth since 2010 in this market, average home price, check this out, $850,000, thank you, Johnny, you can invest in that deal right now, 305-865, no, no, 305-407-0276, 305-407-0276, show them the, the, the asset again, 305-407-0276, look at this, show me a market, you show me a market, Johnny, back to me, where the house across the street is, the median house is $850,000, okay, because my competition on that asset is the house across the street. The payment on that house right there with $150,000 down, I think the down payment to rent at my place is 500 bucks. This guy right here, if he wants to live across the street, has to put 150 grand down, he has to finance 700,000, and the payment on that's gonna be 3,500 bucks a month. My rents are 1,800 bucks a month, and I got a swimming pool you could take the entire neighborhood across the street and on the next street, put all their swimming pools together, and now all the swimming pools of all the million-dollar houses in the neighborhood combined are not as big as my damn swimming pool, and none of them have the view I have of downtown Houston. None have the security. None have the underground parking. 
None have the amenities. None have the full-size 1,500-square-foot gym that I have. And my payment to live at my place is $1,700 less than it is to mow the grass at their place. You tell me what the better deal is, okay? If you guys want to invest with me, I know I got a rent increase here. I know I'm going to go from $1,800. Truly believe I get to $2,200 in the next 24 months. I truly believe this asset, I bought it under replacement costs in the best damn location in the strongest apartment market in the entire country. Uh, if you want to invest with me, you got to be accredited. You need $250,000 of Bonarola ready to go. Cold cash here in the next 14 days or you will not be able to invest in this deal. The number's 305. Text me. Don't be surprised if I don't text you back. 305 407 0276. 305 407 0276. Can't guarantee you're going to make money, but I can guarantee you I'm buying this deal whether you come in or not. Okay. And, and I'm just texting some of my best friends this morning. Gerald, I, my friend Gerald Lemoyne. Some of you know Gerald. I said, Gerald, I'm buying a deal in Houston, number one market, urban market, 646 units. This is an effing beast. Okay, I grew up with Gerald, so he's a good friend. So my good friends, people that have invested with us is the people that we hit first on our deals. I think we're 95%, 95% already funded on this asset. So if you want to come in, you need to get your money in ASAP right away, immediately. If you're not ready to invest with me, no problem. I'll help you get your deals. Let's go get you something more than just a house. Let's go get you a duplex. Let's get to fourplex. Let's get you eight units. Let's get you 80 units. Okay. I want to be the guy that helps you and your family have that residual passive income that has been produced by real estate for people, wealthy families for the last hundreds of years. If I can help you, I want to be of assistance to you. I truly want to help you. I do this every Monday for free. If you want a more exclusive, more intimate setting, every Wednesday we do a Zoom call. Uh, that website's grantcardone.com forward slash club, grantcardone.com forward slash club. Love for you to join us there. See you next. See you Wednesday.